Can you give me some linens? Okay, so you don't need anything that I got now? Uh, no, I need it for our video, my yeah. actual channel video. Yes. Welcome everyone. Please make sure you're tapping the screen. Share the live. I am making chicken piccata. We're back. So I'm frying. So tell me all about your piccata. So this is butter and oil in here. And I just lightly floured the chicken with salt and pepper and a little bit of all-purpose flour. And I'm going to let that chicken sit in that uh, hot butter and oil there and really coat up well. And then I'm going to add Oh, I love it. It looks so good. Then I'm going to add some capers and lemon to it. But I'm going to do something surprising. I'm going to make my ricotta all in one pan. Only you got um, you gotta love a one pan you know. Especially one pan piccata. Oh, my God. We're up making coffee and you're making piccata. <laughs> <laughs> How's everybody doing this morning? Tap the screen and share the live. This is just like Granny. She's cooking chicken piccata. You can see how it's getting golden. That's what you're looking for. And you want it to envelop in the butter and have that smooth, rich sauce here for our chicken piccata this morning. <clears throat> oh, yum. So make sure you're tapping those screens. Share the live, you guys. Follow me and follow Food Talk TV and Dan here. So tap, 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 you guys. Yeah. Tap the screen and share the live. We're watching Food Talk TV. We come together and cook for you every single day, sometimes more than once. And if you ever miss a live, you can check them out on YouTube and Facebook and we're on other, uh, every other social platform. You're watching Just Like Granny ch oh. Cooking Chicken Piccata. I can't, don't even have my first cup of coffee in yet. <laughs> You can barely speak. <laughs> oh, that looks good. I'm going to be doing it all in one pan, you guys. One pan piccata. We're going to have to start calling you one pan patty. No, please don't. <laughs> you don't need another nickname. And I'm going to be using... Oh, my goodness. Fettuccine for my pasta. Oh, it's fresh. That looks awesome. I don't think we have that here. You do in the pasta over at the deli at Walmart or any place like that. I used to buy it. Well, we have fresh pasta. I just didn't think we had that brand. Hi there, Moises. How are you doing? You know, I can't stand it that people don't... He's up early. His name is Moises, and everyone wants to call him Moses. I want to make sure I say... Yeah, I know. I, I would do that, too. It took me about two weeks to figure out, is his name Moises, or is it Moses? It's and that poor guy, he probably doesn't really care at this point. Oh, that brown looks so good. So good. Want Good morning, everybody. Well, Tap the screen and share the live. You're watching Ashton. Just like Granny, she's cooking chicken piccata in one pan. Give us some love. Tap the screen. And uh, let's get these likes going. You can follow me at The Organizer Man and follow Ashton at Just Like Granny. And don't forget to follow Food Talk TV. Just hit us up in the left corner there on the top. Hit the arrow on the bottom and share this live with anybody you think who would love chicken piccata in one pan. Who wouldn't love that? Have mercy on my soul. I'm drinking coffee in Ashton's in Switzerland making I'm in, chicken piccata. I'm in a Sweden, not Switzerland. Yeah, making chicken on the game. The Swedish cook. 
I love watching you cook because there's products that you can get there that we don't get here. Oh, thank you. So I'm going to set the chicken over to the side. You don't want to overcook. Okay. Because you don't want it to be uh, dry when you cook it. So now I'm going to add water to the Right. Um, and I'm going to add in give me, give me. fresh fettuccine. Can you get me a little bit more water? Just like one cup. And we're going to spread this around. Longer, but... Nice. Good morning, David. I mean, afternoon. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going, it going? to start zesting a lemon. Yeah. And I, I can just smell that fresh smell of this. Of zest. Good morning. Patty, good morning, Pickle. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Star. Watch your fingers, girl, Miss Coyote says. <laughs> well, my cat. I really need to watch him on the mend. My cat already got me last night, so. Nah. Girl, you need to throw that cat in the. The donate box. He didn't mean to. I was petting his feet. Oh. Like <laughs> he was just playing. Oh, my goodness. Coffee tastes so good. Good morning, everybody. You're watching Ashton, just like Granny. She's cooking live on Food Talk TV. Follow us by hitting follow up in the top left corner and share the live. Hit the arrow on the bottom right. And send this live to uh, somebody you want to watch it with. I'm adding some lemon juice. Every time you tap, you send love to Ashton. She's got lemon zest and lemon juice in the pan. She's making one pan chicken piccata. She has browned chicken breasts that have been dredged in flour. Ooh, I know what's coming now. And now I'm going to add my capers. Uh, ooh, a whole jar. Okay. Oh, and then I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. <laughs> add any salt to this, really, because the capers are salty, the butter is salty, and the Parmesan cheese yeah. is salty. That's right. So I'm just going to mix this up right here while my pasta is cooking. So that's butter, olive oil, and lemons, and some lemon juice, fettuccine, fresh capers, and a little bit of butter, mm -hmm. and some pepper. No salt needed because the capers are salty. And if you wanted, you could add some garlic if you want to. I don't have any garlic, but that's fine. Um, I'm just going to let that pasta boil here for a second. Usually, I would have a lid. But I want y'all to be able to see it. Uh, ca uh, capers are usually what you find in tartar sauce. Yes. They have a, um, somebody's asking the texture. Homie's asking what texture they have. Um, they're kind of like a mushy, you know, like. It's like they're, um, harder. What's that? It's like if you to eat like a pea, but it's just a little bit harder. Exactly. For a living. Girly girl. Good morning, everybody. If you're in the U.S., we're wishing you a very good morning. Ashton is cooking live on Food Talk TV. Please tap the screen and share the live. Every time you tap the screen with your finger, it sends love to Ashton. And we only have 1.5 thousand likes. And you know we're going to need a whole lot more than that. Ashton is cooking one pan chicken piccata. She's browned some chicken breast in 
olive oil and butter. And um, they're on the side now while she works on this delicious sauce. Butter, olive oil, lemon zest, lemon juice, some capers, fresh pasta. All working in that pan, girl. Exactly. Homie says, thank you. Coyote says, I really never knew that. Good morning, Mommy Bear. Good morning, everybody. Welcome, Food Talk TV. If you ever miss any of these lives, you can check us out on YouTube and Facebook where they replay, and you can follow us on every other social platform. And you can also check us out on Food Talk TV. All right, I've rambled enough, girl. Catch us up. It's okay. I'm having a coffee break. <laughs> Good. I timed it perfect. I'm having my coffee break, too, even though I've only been on the job for about 18 minutes. <laughs> I love this job. <laughs> He's so cute. Oy, oy, oy. Ashton got... Ashley got tore up by her cat last night. You should call this cat scratch piccata. Dan, I need to spank you. <laughs> I hear that a lot. Right. <laughs> Walked out of the room. <laughs> right. Oh my God, it was so funny. After the alarm went off, because you know I'm not up at 8 o'clock watching people cook unless it's you. And so, um, the alarm's going off, and I said to Brian, uh, dude, your alarm, because he, he often will set an alarm and forgets it's going off in the morning. <clears throat> and the more I listen to it, I realize it's my alarm going off to um, get me up so I can join you on your live. <laughs> so I'm waking Brian to turn off his phone. Nice. All right. So what we have so far in here, Daisy, is pasta, olive oil, butter, and I've already cooked our chicken here. I've browned it, seasoned it, and we have capers and lemon looks... lemon zest. Now, I'm <sighs> grating in my Parmesan cheese in this. That way, it can start emulsifying and turning a uh, sauce for chicken piccata. Ooh, the parm. There's also some black pepper in this, and don't worry about salting it, like I said. Because capers are salty, the butter is salty, Parmesan cheese is salty, you know. You got a lot of organic salt in there. Organic salt. It's entering the pan organically. Yeah, it's so organic. Actually, it's so earthy. Parmesan cheese, I got it from the cheese store. So it actually was made at a farm nearby, so it wasn't made uh, at the, you know, when you order it from the grocery store and stuff. That um, camera angle is perfect. It looks so good. Please make sure you're tapping the screens, you guys. Share the live. Good morning, Dennis. What are you doing up so early, Dennis? Also, good are you feeling better? He had COVID. Was Dennis feeling well? Yeah, he had COVID. Dan, girl, you should have just thrown that whole block in there. Your steam's melting your cheese to your grater there, girly. I know. Oh, that looks so good. I love how the sauce is... Uh, Reducing, you can see all that you can just. I can see all the flavor in there. Hey, everybody, tell us where you're joining us from this morning. You're watching Ashton, just like Granny, cooking on Food Talk TV. Follow us up on top there on the left, and you'll never miss another live. If you do miss lives, they're rebroadcast on YouTube and Facebook, and you can check us out. Uh, there's a bunch of our content up on. All the other social platforms. We are a bunch of chefs and cooks that come together to cook for you live right here on TikTok. If you want to check more information on us, you can hit our website at foodtalktv.com. We have our individual schedules there. 
and um, also our bios and all the recipes you can find on on the website too. Oh my gosh, we've got so many, so much um, coverage here. We've got Florida, we've got Texas, and Mama Bears in North Carolina. We got Barno, Barnorama, Mom, Barno, Barnorama in Texas, <laughs> in New York, Florida, Bangor, Maine. Oh my God, that's adorable. Cappuccino. <laughs> More North Carolina and Kentucky. Yes, yes, yes. Snowy New Hampshire, Indiana, California. I love it. Welcome in, everybody. It's Food Talk TV. Good morning. You're watching Ashton cooking just like Granny is cooking chicken piccata. Then you can tell my coffee kicked in y'all i can tell crazy good morning massachusetts good morning papa kaz oh ashton that looks so good i know i made it <laughs> sassy as ever sassy at 2 two twenty four in the afternoon I don't know. I'm going to start owning myself. Like, really. Like, I'm tired of trying to be. Do it, girl. I'm tired of trying to be what other people want me to be. And I'm just going to be myself. I'm going to start. Well, there's no other person to be. Scared. Ah, Mama Bear's coffee's kicking in with me. Coyote's noticing your sarcasm. Thank you. Somebody wants to know, are you taking that rind out or will you leave that in? I'm going to leave it in because it gives it an umami flavor. It enhances okay. like chicken piccata. That's Daisy Mon Forever that asked about the rind. That's a good question. That's a really good question. Rinds and some. I can't say you can only be yourself because everybody else is already taken. <laughs> Because that. tomato, uh, if you everybody else has already taken it, tomato sauces love rind. So if you save all your Parmesan rinds when you're making tomato sauce, it's so good. All right, so this is done. What? Oh my gosh! You made all of that in 25 minutes, and we even restarted. Tap the screen and share the live and show Ashton some love. You're watching Food Talk TV. And uh, every time you hit the arrow down on the bottom there, you share it with somebody. And we've got one person in watching that, uh, that somebody shared the live with. So we need a lot more. Oh, I'm gonna plate this up. <laughs> Intent. <laughs> Just give me a second. I'm going to plate it up. Good morning, Ashley. Our audio is cutting in and out. I'm talking over you too much. I'm sorry, honey. Ashley, thank you for the love. Good morning, everybody. Tap the screen and share the live. You're watching Food Talk TV. That's right. The little numbers are growing. Hit that arrow on the bottom right, and you can share this live with somebody. Get them in here. Ashley's about ready to plate up chicken piccata. She dredge some chicken breast and flour and put it in a hot pan with oil, olive oil and butter. Oh man, that looks so good. Oh. Chicken piccata for breakfast. That's what I'm saying. I could dump all that in an omelet and we'd be good. In an omelet. Good morning, California. Ashley Edmonds is number one top viewer. We'll just add Somebody said more cheese. Your AOD misfit wants more cheese on that. That is gorgeous. One thing Ashton Miss Butler can do is plate some food. It looks so good. Dan, don't tell people my last name. Oh, a little too late for that. <laughs> 57 people already know it. It does. It looks so good. <laughs> Queen from Brooklyn. Good morning, homie. So I 
made good morning this all welcome. welcome i made this Happy in tea. one pan and i'm going to show you just how tender those chicken breasts is it just comes oh my god and it's so white and good and then you can just take some of that lemon here and just squeeze it over the top uh, uh. Now, I know somebody that loves nutmeg dumped on all her food. Or would you do a little nutmeg on top of that? If you want it. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. Okay. Coyote Misfit says it looks so tasty. I'm going to taste it for you guys. Some parsley for garn. Yes, Cass. Capers were in. Um, Ashton dumped a whole jar of capers in, and we were talking about how salt is just not necessary because there's capers, and then you've got the parm, and um, and then you've got the acidity of the lemon. There you are. I was wondering if how long we were going to look at that hot pad. Oh man, I love when you taste your food for us. <laughs> You can tell how good it is. When you cut into that chicken, breast, it looked so tender. Oh, oh my God. Daisy's mom's a vegetarian, and she says she can make a vegetarian uh, version of that. If you do, please tag me. I'm just like Granny. Oh. Yeah. This is so delicious. There's so many great protein replacements. I could never oh. be vegetarian. you making but kudos to those. Does David gonna get? Is David gonna get any of that? No. Hey, girl, how are you gonna? How are you gonna poof David? Oh God, that's so good. I outdid myself. Pat on the back. <laughs> you guys i love y'all thank you for joining us i know my lives are short but i have a chronic illness and if i stand in the kitchen i tire myself out and i get sick so i'm learning to put me first well i love sweet i'm learning to put me first and that's really hard for some people to understand but i'm putting me first for a little bit because i am going to be doing some more treatments and stuff like that so i'm learning to not be a people pleaser it's hard, but I'm learning. You know, there's one, one with what you just said. You said you're going to put yourself first for a little bit. So correct that and get back with me. Right. You need to put yourself first all the time, fashion, unless you're making chicken piccata for me and then I'm first. Okay. <laughs> Mama Bear says, have an awesome and blessed day. Dennis is saying goodbye. Have a great day, everybody. Enjoy. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's Ashton, and you're watching Food Talk TV. Don't forget to follow us for more. All right. Love you, Ashton. Love you, David. I love you, Dan. I love you, Brian. I love you, Food Talk TV members. All right. Until <laughs> next time. Bye now. Bye. Go kill it.